lighting new cigarettes, pouring more drinks. It has been a beautiful fight, still is. Welcome to Simply Art. And today we'll be talking about the life journey of one of the most prolific writers of the world, Charles Bukowski. Bukowski, whose real name was Hendrik Karl Bukowski, was a German-American poet, novelist, and a short story writer. He was born on August 16, 1920, in Andernach, Germany, and died on March 9, 1994, in San Pedro, California. Bukowski's childhood was marked by hardship and poverty. His father, an American soldier stationed in Germany, was an abusive alcoholic, and his mother was often ill. Bukowski's parents moved to the United States when he was three years old, settling in Los Angeles. He grew up in the city's working-class neighborhoods and attended Los Angeles High School. Bukowski's experiences growing up in poverty and witnessing the hardships of the working class would later serve as inspiration for much of his writing. He began writing poetry at a fairly young age and submitted his work to various literary magazines throughout his teenage years. But he was largely unsuccessful in getting published. After high school, Bukowski attended Los Angeles City College for a short time, but dropped out to work various odd jobs. He then decided to pursue a writing career, moving to New York City in the early 1940s. He spent several years there living in poverty and working as a clerk, a delivery man, and a truck driver. During this time, he continued to write poetry and submitted to literary magazines, but again with little success. In the late 40s, Mikowski returned to LA, where he worked as a letter carrier for the United States Postal Service. He wrote during his spare time but it wasn't until the early 50s that he began to gain recognition for his writing. His poetry and short stories began appearing in small literary magazines and he gained a small following of devoted readers. It was during the 50s that Bukowski developed his distinctive writing style, characterized by its gritty, realist portrayals of the urban working class and its use of vulgarity and dark humor. His writing was heavily influenced by his own experiences, growing up poor, working menial jobs, and living in poverty. He began to gain a reputation as a literary outsider and laureate of the low life. Bukowski's rise to literary fame was not an easy one. He published his first story in 1944. But it would be another 25 years before his first book, Flower, Fist, and Bestial Whale, was published by Black Sparrow Press in 1969. The collection of poetry, which Bukowski had self-published in 1959 under the pseudonym Henry Chinaski, caught the attention of John Martin, the publisher of Black Sparrow Press. Martin would go on to publish nearly all of Bukowski's work for the next 25 years until Bukowski's death in 1994. In 1971, Bukowski published his first novel, Post Office, which was based on his own experiences working as a letter carrier for the United States Postal Service. The novel was a semi-autobiographical account of his life, and it was met with positive critical reception. It was followed by a series of other novels, including Factotum in 1975, and Women, 1978, which cemented his reputation as a chronicler of the urban underbelly. Bukowski's writing often dealt with themes of loneliness, alienation, and the search for meaning in a meaningless world. He wrote in a raw, unadorned style that was both brutal and deeply humane. His characters were often misfits, outcasts, and losers but Bukowski imbued them with a sense of dignity and humanity. He was often criticized for his portrayal of women in his writing, which some considered to be sexist and misogynistic. Bukowski himself acknowledged that he had a difficult relationship with women, and that his portrayal of them in his writing was not always positive. 
In the 80s and early 90s, Bukowski's fame continued to grow. He published several more novels, including Ham on Rye in 1982 and Hollywood in 1989, as well as numerous collections of poetry and short stories. He also began to give public readings, something he had previously avoided. He became a cult figure and an icon of the literary underground. Bukowski's life was not without its controversies. He had a reputation as a heavy drinker and a womanizer, and his personal life was often tumultuous. He was married twice, and both marriages ended in divorce. Despite these controversies, Bukowski's writing continued to be popular. He was widely regarded as one of the most original and important voices in contemporary literature. On March 9, 1994, Bukowski died of leukemia at the age of 73. He was survived by his third wife, Linda Lee Bela, and his daughter, Marina Louise Bukowski. After his death, his work continued to be widely read, and it remains one of the most popular and influential writers of the 20th century. In conclusion, Bukowski's life journey is marked by his humble beginnings. His struggles to establish himself as a writer, his battles with alcohol, and his relationships with women, and his ultimate rise to literary fame. His writing, influenced by his life experiences, often dealt with themes of loneliness, alienation, and the search for meaning in a meaningless world in a raw and unadorned style. Bukowski's work still continues to be widely read and studied, and his influence can be seen in the work of many contemporary writers. Without trying to make himself look good, much less heroic, Bukowski writes with a nothing-to-lose truthfulness, which sets him apart from most other autobiographical novelists and poets. Bukowski is a phenomenon. He has established himself as a writer with a consistent and insistent style based on what he projects as his personality, the result of hard, intense living. And with that, it's time for us to call it a day. But we do hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.